Now to the rise in rent prices. I was just talking about this with some yep. of my friends. Prices in New York City have skyrocketed. Americans across the country are struggling as the prices soar. Average monthly rents increased by 14 percent across the U.S. in 2021. And the cost has risen even higher, up to 40 percent in some popular cities like Austin, Texas. To make matters worse, economists say rents have more room to grow. Consumer experts expect them to rise by 10 percent in the year ahead. These higher prices could be a key driver of inflation this year, posing yet another challenge to the Biden administration. Joining us now is CBS News Money Watch reporter Megan Cirillo. Megan, great to see you again. So can you break down some of the price hikes in these individual cities and why some cities are seeing much higher rises than others? Sure. So on average, across the 50 biggest metro areas in the U.S., rent rents rose by about 14 percent. But like you said, in Austin, Texas, in these coveted markets, they were up by 40 percent in New York City and surrounding areas like Newark, New Jersey, New Brunswick, New Jersey, um, Nassau County, New York. They were up 35 percent as well as um, by up 35 percent in, in Florida in West Palm Beach and uh, Jacksonville and Miami. And as always, it's an issue of supply and demand. A lot of would-be homeowners are um, are finding that the cost of homeownership is unaffordable to them right now. Mortgage payments are too high. So they're being pushed or forced into staying in the rental market. And there's just not a lot of inventory. Vacancy rates are low, and, and that's putting pressure on, on the cost of rent. Uh, normally, we only see single-digit increases. In 2020, rents across the U.S. rose by 3%. So this 14% figure is, is really striking. Megan, I was just mentioning my friends and I have been talking about the, the price hikes here in New York City. When the pandemic hit, and the, the building that my family and I were living in at the time actually offered three months of free rent, fast forward, what caused this rise in prices? Right. So 2020 was a completely different story altogether. A lot of young people who were living in New York because of the opportunities to work and socialize left because they, they weren't working. Their offices were closed and they couldn't go out and see their friends. So they so households bundled together. They maybe they moved home or, or moved in with with relatives. And so they vacated those units and um, rents were, were dropped briefly. But what we've seen um, since then, what we saw last year was sort of the re reverse. We saw households unbundle. We even saw some divorces. So there were more people um, seeking home, seeking a, a limited number of, of, of units available. And what we also saw was with, with, this, with the ri rise of remote work, people said, OK, well, I can work from anywhere. Why don't I go down to Florida? So they may have had so they're now putting pressure on on these other markets, forcing some some locals to to reconsider, you know, if, if they can afford the cost of living. Gosh, too much closeness during the pandemic reminded people <laughs> why they don't want to live at home anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So, of course, there were these national eviction moratoriums during the pandemic and in some areas, even rental assistance. Right. So people may have gotten into a, a position where they thought they were okay, right? That they could afford their rent and that they were feeling pretty comfortable. But a lot of those have ended now, Megan. So what should people do if they wanna try and stay in their homes, but they're seeing these, these rent hikes that they can't afford? Are there resources available? Unfortunately, a lot of Americans find themselves between a rock and a hard place. They're saying they can't afford to buy, but they can't afford to rent either. In the meantime, there are some unused funds from the Biden administration's emergency rental assistance program that will be reallocated. The Biden administration has also said that it plans to make 100,000 units of affordable housing available in the next three years. And while economists expect rents to continue to rise, at some point they'll level out because landlords can only charge what people can afford to pay. So they, they won't rise forever. But until then, a lot of folks are going to have to Unfortunately, if, if, if they can no longer afford rent, they may have to move to a, a different um, a different city or a different part of the country altogether where uh, the, the costs of living um, are, are more manageable given their budgets. That's interesting. So you see this migration that we've seen of people moving from cities due to the pandemic. You think that will continue then? I, I do expect to see more of that. All right. Megan Cerullo, thank you so much. As always, we appreciate your financial insight. Thank you, Tanya.